We have a huge problem. Trust me. I know. Teen Wolf is a TV show that started in 2011 that became very popular and is still going on today. It is about a high school boy named Scott McCall dealing with his new form of lycanthropy, where he must balance his life as a new wolf to his day-to-day -day teenage life. Since this is a supernatural show, it is part of a science that cannot be explained in the real world, but we can explain it how they fictitiously portray it in the show. There are a lot of weapons in this show that are used against Scott and his fellow wolf friends. And while this is a supernatural show, there is some science behind it. So let's get started. The most basic weapon used against werewolves is wolf's bane, and has been around for ages and is actually a real plant called Akitino. In ancient times, it was used as a poison for arrow tips, and it was also used to get rid of supernatural creatures from entering their homes. If ingested in the real world, it will cause diarrhea and vomiting, and could ultimately cause death, which is the best way to go. For werewolves, if ingested, it could take up to 48 hours to kill. If simply touched, it would burn. Now why is that? Since acutinum is an alkaloid poison, the compound acutin is chemical formula is C34H47NO11. It is able to cross the blood barrier and take rapid effect after consumption, even causes cardiac arrest or respiratory failure within an hour. So how is this incorporated into the show? In the ancient Greeks, it was referred to as wolf's bane because the early symptoms of the aconitum poisoning resembled the symptoms of rabies. So it is plausible that the same effects happen to the werewolves, but because of their high sense of smell, even being around the aconitum can cause them to weaken. Silver has always been the top main killer for werewolves, but why is that? Silver is extremely ductile and can conduct heat very well. Werewolves are equally as malleable since they can change their shape so easily. But since most werewolves live in the cold nights, we don't really have to worry about them conducting heat as much for the silver to really hurt. So how exactly does it hurt the werewolves? Silver tarnishes to a black crust if exposed even though it's non-reactive. The tiny bits of elements of sulfur in the air combine with the silver to make it tarnish. Sulfur is known as brimestone, which is nicknamed the devil's element. When you mix silver and sulfur, you get silver sulfide, which can only be ingested since it's not soluble in water. So for a werewolf to be greatly affected by it, it's possible to say the common werewolf is stuffed with sulfur. So when the silver bullet is ingested or getting shot at, it travels to the bloodstream, blocking off the blood vessels and poisoning the cells, which are a bye-bye to your work with problems. What are we going to do, throw acid on it? No, like a firebomb. In there is everything you need to make a self-igniting Molotov cocktail. Self-igniting Molotov cocktail. A Molotov cocktail is a homemade incendiary bomb that is usually a glass bottle partially filled with flammable liquid of choice. The mouth is stoppered airtight and the neck is wrapped with the rag soaked in alcohol right before use. The chemistry behind a Molotov cocktail is something called fire tetrahedron. Fire can only start if these three elements are present. It's oxygen, heat, and fuel. For the Molotov and Teen Wolf, the glass bottle is thrown at its target and breaks upon impact. The white phosphorus then lights the benzene and it creates an explosion. This is considered fire tetrahedron because the three requirements are fulfilled. The first requirement is oxygen. When the glass bottle shatters, white phosphorus is exposed to oxygen. Phosphorus is a chemical element that is highly reactive and when exposed to air will catch fire on its own. Our second requirement is fuel. The fuel in the Molotov cocktail for Teen Wolf is benzene. Benzene is a highly flammable toxic liquid that can be found in gasoline. The third requirement is heat, which was fulfilled when the highly reactive phosphorus ignites upon contact with air and spreads to the flammable liquid benzene. So, if you ever have a problem with the werewolf, you know these major weapons can help you. Good luck. Are you threatening me? 
You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna break off an extra large branch of mountain ash, wrap it in wolf's bane, roll it in mistletoe, and shove oh, it up bro, your freaking styles. Okay, you get it. <laughs>